Pakistanis across the country cast their vote today. This is only the 12th general election in the country's 76-year history. I'm Sara Zaman in Lahore, Pakistan's second largest city. Some of the voters I spoke to today expressed disappointment that former Prime Minister Imran Khan was not on the ballot and that his party did not get to campaign as freely as other parties. Still, they said that they were motivated to come out and vote because they wanted their voices to be heard. Others said they were less worried about who was on the ballot and more worried about the economic situation of Pakistan and just wanted the next government to bring down what they call back-breaking inflation. Internet and mobile services were suspended early in the morning in Pakistan. The Interior Ministry said this was out of concern for security. But this frustrated a lot of voters. They told us that this prevented them from communicating with their friends and family members to motivate them to come out to vote, to explain the voting process to them, and to also get in touch with the Election Commission of Pakistan to report any possible irregularities in the voting process. Whoever wins is going to serve a public that is deeply disappointed in the political process, has little faith in the electoral system, and is extremely worried about its economic survival.